happy Thursday. Oh no, I didn't do Thursday tip. Okay, hold on. Let me comment so if anybody searches on this page, Thursday tip, you guys can find it. Um, Thursday tip. I have it first. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Okay, let's just see if anybody pops up. When you guys say hi, go on and say hi to me because it's not showing me who's on and who's not on. So say hi. There's somebody on. Whoever you are, hello. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hey, Jessica. Yes, happy Thursday. Okay, so I really, well, not I. We really were talking about like taking our, hi, Jackie, taking our leadership to our next level. Okay. Um, and when it comes to taking your leadership to the next level like that obviously means that we train you guys oh my gosh so many of y'all are jumping on um but we train you guys on how to do that too so this week our let me start saying the thursday tips are really going to be start guiding towards leadership topics only because you guys are getting monday tips off of your director's page like me or michelle's director's pages and i know we've been hi anna We've been switching tips back and forth on Monday, so you guys are getting like double tips. So on this page, I'm really gonna focus on training you guys for like leadership kind of stuff. So this week we're gonna start with how to identify who to work with, okay? Let me start by saying that Michelle and I are, well, we're kind of like two peas in a pod when it comes to everything. We really do a lot together. But the way that I got to director is the way that I'm going to get to SD and the way that I get to from SD to SSD is by doing this. Okay. Cause it works for me. I am a super visual person. Um, so this is what I do and I'm going to try to actually, I'm going to fold names over so you guys cannot see whose numbers I'm talking about there. Then we're in compliance. Um, okay. So this is what we do. Hold on. Let me fold all of these over so I stay in compliance and I can post this on YouTube and nobody will get mad, right? Okay, so I do coaching, well, I did coaching calls. I really have gotten slack on them, so I'm kind of kind of kick them back up this month. But I stopped calling them coaching calls and I've started calling them connection calls. This does not want to fold. Um, but I've started calling them connection calls. And what I do is they just take my Calendly link, they sign up for a date and a time that works for them, and then um, they, we, I call them. So that's what I did, and I can show like a Calendly that would probably be a really good training call for you guys to kind of see too. Um, but what I do for how I pick up, who, or how I pick who to work with, let me not show all of that, um, but how I pick is I go into my workstation, I do um, pull downline report, and if you're a director, you should only be working with your teams because you want to teach your directors how to do this. So if you're a director, then you need to be doing pull team report. So that's what, this is my downline and my team are the same right now because I don't have any directors under me um, that are getting paid a title. So, um... I can just pull one, but once my directors start hitting again, I would only do team, okay? Because you want to give your directors a minute to coach like this. So I know that there's some that have directors under them on this page, so make sure that you are respecting those boundaries. And you're only coaching with the director's team if that director's not working, okay? Um, so what I do is I pull that, and I do their level because I want to see if they're a first gen, a second gen, a third or a fourth or so down. Okay. Their consultant ID number because I want to be able to look them up. I do their name because obviously I want to know who they're talking, who I'm talking about and who I'm like looking at. Um, I do their projected title and their projected rank because that's going to tell me their title. 
what is their actual title, and then that's, the rank is gonna tell me what are they getting paid at. So they can be an SSC, but then they're only getting paid at certified, okay? So there's a big difference. So you wanna make sure you're pulling those because if they're not getting paid a title, then we can't talk about a promotion until you learn how to get paid a title. So there's that. Um, and then PRV, TWV, I only pull TWV because that's gonna show me their team. Their GWV will be something that I pull once I have directors that are hitting, but right now I don't, so I just pull TWV. I pull my team numbers, so it tells me how many is on their team. I pull active frontline, how many they recruited, and then their join date. The only reason that I pull join date is because I wanna make sure if they're a rock star, that's within their first 30 days, the first 70 days, which I have one, so I'm gonna be able to show you that. Um, but if it is like that, then I wanna make sure that I'm like heavy hitting, focusing on that person, okay? And I'm gonna show you a situation. So, what I do is I pull all of that and then I export it into a spreadsheet, okay? Once I export it into a spreadsheet, I print it. And then you're gonna get how many pages? I have five right now. Um, you may only have one, you may have two, you may have 25 pages, I don't really know. So it's gonna depend how many is on your group or your team that you're gonna pull, okay? Um, so, this is what it looks like. What I do is I take two colors, okay? So my pink are my leaders now that are getting numbers to excel, okay? So like this person right here, in the month of May, and you wanna make sure you do the past month. So this is June, so I pulled May's ending, okay? Cause I don't wanna coach off of what's going on in June cause there's probably hardly anything there to coach from, okay? Um, so this person's TWV was 5901.2, okay? So, and she had three active frontline. That's telling me 5902, that she was right at the 6,000 mark for SSC, okay? So she's gonna be somebody I work with. Um, then this person, this is a really good example about the first 70 days. So this person's PRV was 1340. Then her TWV was 2003. She was really close to star. She had a, a team of three, and then she had two active front lines. So she had enough for star, she just missed it by like 500 GWV, okay? But look at that join date. That's why I want you guys to see that because that join day right there is 3-17-21. She literally just got out of her first 70 days. So that's a heavy hitter, okay? So I did that for all my pages and I did wrote down based on GWV and all that, okay? So that's what the pink is. I did it for all five pages and you guys can kind of see like literally it's written everywhere. Um, then I went through and I wrote down and I highlighted my potential leaders. So those are in yellow. Those mean like, so this one right here, she has a team of six, but her GWV was only 365, okay? Um, her PRV was 45. So I got to kind of see what's going on there, who's the rock star underneath, and does she want it, okay? Same for this person. So her GWV was 332, but her PRV was 405, and then she has a team of two. So I highlighted her because she's a potential leader. So I went through and I did all of that, and that's how I classified. Pink meant that they were hitting numbers. Um, yellow meant that I could see them promoting to a leadership title or whatever in the next couple months, okay? So I broke it down and I have 13 new leaders, or 13 now leaders, and 10 upcoming, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm going to look at the GWVs, and then whoever's GWV is closest or what they're working towards, I'm going to group them together or I'm going to ask them to do a coaching call, like one-on-one. -on -one. I don't really, not coaching call, connection call. Um, and then I'm going to train them. What can I do? Where's the weakness at? So for this one right here with the 5901 GWV or TWV, she has a team of 41, active frontline was three, but her PRV was 247. So that means before, if she would have put in her $250 and PRV that she like could have gotten, she would have been paid a title. So that's a like lag right there. So that's what we need to talk about, okay? Because I can't coach anybody to go to director if we're not gonna put in our 500. Um, so the next person, uh, this one right here. So the girl that's within her first 70 days. 2003 TWV, a team of three, Active Frontline 2, PRV is 1340. 
So what I would do, because her team is only three, I want her to go to star. And literally, she's probably maxed out on everything because she has one with 619 PRV, 712. So she's literally maxed on PRV that they probably could have done in one month. So what she needs to do is she needs to recruit. And then she needs these two other people, they need to recruit too. Because then the more that she gets under them, and the more that's in that downline, the more it's going to boost that GWV. Okay? So that's what I would coach them on. Um, Let's talk right here. Okay, so one is GWV is, or TWV, whichever you want to call it. 3,888, team of 43, active frontline 6, PRV 2,206. Okay? So I really looked through here and I was like, okay, well, where is this lacking? Because she's good on PRV. Her T number is 43, which you need to hit consistently director numbers. It's averaging about 50 to 60. So she's right at it. So she should be hitting close. Her active front line's amazing. She has six. So when I look through her numbers, and this is kind of where you would go through and like look at things, she's only getting, she only has two leaders under her. And one leader that has a group of five had one active or front line, but her GWV was 196. So that's the problem. We need these leaders to start performing. She has one that just recruited her first team member and her GWB was 633. So this person needs to work on building leaders underneath her, okay? So you kind of have to go through and then look at all of this and see what do they need to work on, where are they at? And the tree, when you print it, it really shows it all out. So. This other person has a PRV of 507, TWV of 2475, team of 18, and one active frontline. But when I looked at her numbers, look at all of these leaders underneath her, okay? So she has so many leaders underneath her, and that's why her GWV is boosting. But what she needs to work on is adding active frontline because she only has one active frontline. So even if she does get to 2,500, she can't promote because she doesn't have the active frontline. So that's what we would work on is sponsoring. Okay. So I love printing it. I love being able to see what their numbers are, who's underneath them that's performing. And then when it comes to this hitting director, so this one right here. If she had her 500 in, what I would do is she has one person that is a star. She has one that's hitting at a lead, so this is her next star. And then she's just missing one more. So for director, we train on you need three star consultants to hit director. And she's identified two, so we need one more. So that's where I would go next is who's going to be this third person that's going to be her star consultant. And you can see that I've highlighted two underneath her that are her front line. Okay? Um, so this is how I identify once I do it, I would get them on a coaching or a connection call. Um, and I can go over Calendly like next week and show you guys how I actually do that. But if you haven't yet, go to your workstation, print all of this out, and start highlighting who your leaders are. What are the things that you're looking for as a leader? So me, as a director, I'm looking for two frontline directors at least, but I'm going to identify three because I want three in case one drops down to DQ. So I'm going to go for three frontline directors, and then I want two second gens. So kind of go ahead and start identifying who these people are going to be. If you're going for director, you need three star consultants. So that's what you need to do. You need to print this out, and then you need to go, who are my ones that are performing? Add a leadership title and get a painting title. Highlight those in one color, and then get another color and highlight who's your potentials. Okay. I hope that this really makes sense, but if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And I know it's crazy that I do this, but I have tried digging through all of this, writing it on spreadsheets, and it doesn't work for me. I have to physically be able to see, and I'm actually going to go in and like start highlighting more and writing tons of notes on this because this is how I function, and this is how Michelle functions too. This is literally how we got to director, and this is how she got to SSD, or SSD, <laughs> she is an SSD in my mind, but an SD. Um, so, I hope that this is good. If you guys have any questions, ask me or Michelle. She's literally about to go do the same thing. She just commented literally the way I hit director. So, she's literally about to go and do the same thing. So, um, 
We'll help you guys if you need it, but go ahead and start printing these out. And I want to see who you guys are identifying to work with and tag your teams in this comments so then they can watch it and start building leaders also. Okay. All right. Love you guys.